G'day viewers and welcome to Friday Creek Timber, I'm Glenn Bailey. So today's topic is a step by step of operating this sawmill. For all you prospective sawmillers out there. It's quite beautiful. So we're at the mill and the first thing we need to do is put the log stops into place and these are the uh, pieces of wood I've got here to stop the log from rolling off and to hold it in place. And it's a matter of getting a log, big ass log this time, uh, onto the mill and I'll use a couple of ramps and a cant hook. I'm making it look like hard work. Oh, at Friday Creek I had it all going downhill so the, um, the log just rolled straight on. It was, there's easier ways than what I've done on this little site. Couldn't be stuffed doing any different. Throw the ramps away. And the can hook. It's a matter of turning the log to get it into the right orientation so you get the best angle of cut. And then you've got to side it up along the mill to make sure it's all in line and it's not going to jam on anything. Got to clamp it in place with the log clamp and once that's done between the log stops and the log clamp, the log won't go anywhere. The blades will stay a whole lot sharper if you can clean off as much dirt as you can. There's a water reservoir at the top of the mill for putting detergent in water and this lubricates the blade and keeps it cool. Gives you a great deal longer blade life. Blades loose when I start. Always loosen the blade before at the end of each day. I use a torque wrench and this gets the tension to 20 foot pounds or 27 newton meters. There's a blade tensioning handle on the side of the unit. You just tighten that up and just for the final twist you use the torque wrench. Plus it makes me look real professional using one. That's what I'm after. Style. And once the tension's set, spin the band wheels around a few times just to make sure the tracking's all in order and that the blade's going to stay in place and not go flying off. Shut the guards. And tighten them closed. And move the saw into position at the lock. Then we wind the handle to get the height. Every set number of turns of the handle always gives you the same thickness. So if you turn it once, that one turn will always be the same thickness. Uh, a four turn will always give you the same thickness. I put on a mask just to keep the dust out. To turn the unit on, you've got to turn, put the choke in to start with and turn the fuel on. Turn the start key and she starts straight away. <laughs> And then once it starts firing, turn the choke off. Good to go. Right here is for the water lubrication for the blade. And that gets your water and detergent down onto the blade. Uh, you can, the, the hose goes right onto the top of the blade. There's the accelerator. Once you're ready to go, you turn that accelerator and the blade will start to spin. And you can see the water pouring out as it goes across the blade. It'll build up on the side of the log. And then it's just a matter of pushing the saw once you've got it all operating. You get a feel for how fast you can push through a log and it varies depending on how sharp your blades are and how soft the wood is and you'll hear it in the pressure on the engine. At the end of each run it's important to turn the water off and to power down the accelerator and then the engine just idles. This is just saves your fuel and lubricant and then remove your log. Then it's just a matter of rolling the saw back to the start position. Everything's manual, you're just rolling on a set of wheels that are on tracks so it's just a matter of pushing the cutting head backwards and forwards manually. <laughs> Thank you. 
stack it somewhere. I'll put it straight on the tray. Right halfway through a job and the saw starts to cut funny or feels like it's getting blunt it's just a matter of whipping it off I've removed all the blade guides so it's about a fifth of the time now and then putting a new blade on uh, you go through your um, process of tensioning again uh, people talk about band saws being a pain because they need sharpening all the time they've got so many teeth and it's better changing blades all the time it's very quick and easy and uh, checking the tracking and then it's just a matter of closing the doors up and starting again. It usually lasts me a full day of something so I'll probably get about six hours out of it um, and, and sharpening a blade takes about 15 minutes. It's really not a big job and as you can see changing a blade is simple and quite rapid. It's a very simple unit. It's one of the things I like about this hardwood mill, it's just a simple, easy to use unit. And folks, see you next time.